addiction to the wow. Addiction, 100% action, 100% wow. Yeah, please stay tuned. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Addiction to the Wow again, Les, your host. Um, people want to know how to keep fiddle crabs alive and all that stuff, though. And we're going to show you how to keep fiddle crabs alive. You've been keeping keep them alive for a long time, weeks, two weeks. We kept them alive a long time. And the thing to keep them alive is this um, get you like a three, five gallon bucket, whatever and um, put them in there. Make sure you got sand in there. You should have sand in there in the first place when you first ever started anyway, have sand in there. Because they like the sand, dig their holes, and they eat things from the sand. Then next to have is, you get out the water, the water from the, um, where they live at, like salt water and all that stuff. You put the water in there because they like the water in there. They gotta keep wet. They don't wanna be dried up and die and be stinking. When they, when they die, they will stink. They will smell everything up. You know, they have the whole yard lit it up. And uh, I'm gonna show you real quick. Come on, camera person. I see this is what they are right here. If you didn't see, you see they got that sand on top and the water at the bottom. I tilt the bucket. The bucket is tilted in the angle because for the water sit on one side and the sand is sitting on the other side. And they see they good and alive right there. Look how good they look right there though. And the water sitting right there. So this this is what you want to do, and this is a good way to do it. I learned this from um I went to a, um, a base store. And they had these cry, these um, fiddle crafts, and they were showing me how to keep them alive. And this is one of the things they do. So it's a good lesson to um, learn to keep these fiddle crafts alive because they're good for sheep head fishing and um, black drums, red drums. If you want to catch any of those, these are good techniques to keep these fiddle crafts because they're very, very important. Or you, unless you don't care, every day you want to go out there and get some um, new ones that's on you. But it's the best thing to do. And things not to do is take a minnow, cut them or may hating or whatever you got, try to put them in there, dang them too much mess with it. On that disc, it's gonna do mess up your whole, um, your um, your pail bucket, or whatever you wanna call your five gallon bucket. And you're gonna be stinking real bad cause that fish gonna die and have everything stinking real bad. So things you don't do and like don't flood up the whole thing and don't put no sand in there. You put no sand in there and you defeat the purpose to keep them alive. They gotta have that sand. They, they clean the sand, they clean all that stuff. I think they eat like little stupid stuff like bacteria and all that stuff they eat. So that's the way to keep them alive. And when you get time, please subscribe and that'd be all good. Peace.